is anyone out there. What was the first uh, decision that you made? The script. There aren't that many well-written scripts, quite honestly. We'll see movies that try to be good and aren't, you know. I, you know, I see five or six films a year that I go, God, that's a really well-written script. Um, so it was a well-written script and I wanted to do it because of that. And I thought this is an opportunity to work on a, a project that talks about sort of large themes that I liked and I was interested in. And so those were the reasons that I initially uh, sort of chased it down and tried to do it. As a film viewer, what is one of the things that you always notice about movies? Where is your attention usually in what, what part of the movie? Well, there's always things like if a, if a problem could be solved easily and it isn't in a film, I always go crazy. Like if you, oh. if you just told them this, then there wouldn't be a problem, which happens in so many films. It's ridiculous. I'm always like, where's the problem? Pick up the phone and everything's done. There's a lot of, you know, um, uh, I, I think when people are explaining things to people in a scene that would already know it, that makes me crazy. You know, like, for instance, you've seen the movie. Um, so when they all go out in space for the spacewalk and they sing, you know, Sweet Caroline, everything, you've seen enough movies, you know, something's going to happen. Right. right. You're not. Stupid. You know, something's going to happen. So the question is, then, how do you deliver that? If you're if you're ahead of the audience enough to say, OK, they expect something here. And of course, there is going to be this thing. here. So then it's going to be, well, then let's make sure when we deliver it, it isn't something they've seen before. You know, and I think like the the blood in this floating blood is something that people haven't seen before. Sometimes you have to look at it going. We we've seen so many movies over our lifetime. We kind of know how things, you know, uh, uh, the ending for this film, I think. You know, I read a lot of scripts. I always predict the ending. Or, oh, I know it's going to. This one surprised me when I read the script, you know, and, you know, I'm suspecting a lot of things when I read it, but I didn't, I, it surprised me what the ending was. And so I love that, you know. What do you think is the thing that makes you the most proud of this movie? What, what do you feel the proudest of? Well, I, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. I, I feel like um, because this film had so much to do with, um, cinematography and music, uh, you know, and actors who are directors are usually, uh, uh, th their focus is almost usually on performance only, and th they don't get to uh, play with imagery as much and uh, music as much. And I feel like uh, I, I was able and given the opportunity in this film, because given the silences, I'm proud of the how still and quiet the film is. It's hard to do. You got to remember, this is a this isn't a low budget film. You can tell, uh, and to be able to say, well, we're not going to do a big action film. We're going to do a, a meditation on on um, whether this whole battle to be a human being is worth it or not. And you know, and, and yes, we'll have some action set pieces, but in general, that's the that's the theme. And to be able to, and to have Netflix say, yeah, go ahead and do it. Pretty amazing, you know, honestly, really amazing. So I'm very proud of the, 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 um, the stillness in the film. Before it's too late.